Good morning. Today is day 112 on the AT. Yesterday we only ended up getting in um, a little less than 13 miles because I'm still feeling really sick. I'm all stuffed up and at night I get a little feverish, super achy. So I'm doing a lot of painkiller and DayQuil and still been able to hike a little bit. Today we're gonna try to get in um, 15 to 18 miles. So then tomorrow we'll have like 10 to 13 miles to hike until Salisbury, Connecticut, where we're gonna stay the night because tomorrow's Sunday. So I won't be able to pick up my new poles from the post office until Monday morning. Then we're gonna head into the Southern Taconics with um, some higher elevation than we've been to in a little while, all the way up to the high 2000 range. This morning we have seven miles to hike until Cornwall Bridge, where we're gonna get a little bit more food and some town food to eat too. And um, so by the way, it's just me and Old Chicken hiking now because um, we have to go a little slower so we can get my package and then uh, Snackmeister, Chaco, and Mock are um, way, way ahead because yesterday they completed the Connecticut challenge. So they hiked through all of Connecticut in one day, which is crazy. And then um, the rest of the group is maybe like a half day ahead of us right now. And um, we'll probably only be a little bit behind them and then we'll catch up after Sal Salisbury. Good morning. Today is day 113 on the AT. As you can hear in my voice, I'm still pretty damn sick, but I'm still walking. Uh, yesterday we did 16.3 miles, setting us up for 12.2 to do today until Salisbury, where we're going to stay at Vanessa's, which is a uh, wonderful lady who rents out beds in her house to hikers, kind of like a little informal hostel. 
and I remember Salisbury being really nice when I passed through here last year and I remember the supermarket having an awesome and very very large sandwich. So yesterday all of a sudden we noticed two separate drastic changes in the ecosystem of the forest that we've been walking through. So the first thing we noticed was there were all of a sudden caterpillars of the same variety everywhere. Tons and tons and tons of them crawling over all the trees like there'd be hundreds on a single tree. Then we noticed that the trees had no leaves on them anymore and all of a sudden the forest looked pretty similar to what it did back in Georgia and North Carolina. So it kind of felt like we were in the twilight zone, we didn't really know what to make of it. Then I put two and two together, so I saw a tree with only a few leaves left on it and there were caterpillars all over those leaves, chopping them down. So we realized that the caterpillars are the reason that all the trees are defoliated. And then I think last night, um, old chicken did a little research, figured out that those caterpillars are um, gypsy moth caterpillars, so they, they turn into the gypsy moths. And they do defoliate all the trees, but later in the summer the trees can recover and uh, produce more leaves, so it's not actually damaging to them in the long term.